Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode. We've got some 2022 Series 2 Meyer exclusive blister packs. These are supposed to have one purple card inside. I believe they have two in there. Uh, if you haven't been around, this is your first time watching. Blister packs come from Meyer. It's like a store that's across between a Walmart and a Target. Um, these came out originally this summer. There were zero purples in there. Looks like there's two. Got Dan and Harry in the house. Step in the box. Let's do this. These can be a little tricky to open. Let's see what we can get here. Um, there's not a whole lot to pull in the purples per se. I guess O'Neal Cruz is probably the best one. Ah, here we go. We got a rookie card at least. We got Naughton and Frank Schwindel. I'm going to sleeve that rookie right here. I'm going to wait to open the packs at the end. I'm going to kind of put these off to the side. It's going to take a minute to get to the packs. These, again, I've opened up enough of these. 2019, I think I opened up about 1,000 of these from Series 2. Trying to pull the Eloy. No rookie there. These purples are pretty nice, though, in terms of, you know, you can usually sell them for a dollar or two. Pays for the pack, a star. What's happening, Jack? Have an awesome day, Chad. Thanks for stepping in the box, everybody. Appreciate it. Hopefully we can get some people in here for this. These purples are pretty cool. You got to keep a knife handy. They are a little tricky. Uh, like I said, there was a debacle with these. They had no purples to start the year. They didn't have them, but I was at my local Meyer, and all of a sudden they had, I could tell they had two of them in there. So they obviously, Tops is making up in a big way. What's up, Andrew? My mom and dad are in the house, and they like the perp. Ooh, I almost cut the pack open on that one. Dope. Here we go. That was the, is that the same pack? That was the exact same pack. So they're putting them in together. I have a feeling there's a, these are searched, um, but I didn't really care about the purples. I walked into Meyer. I don't know when that was, last week, and they had them in there. Um, Eddie, I got these a few days ago. I'm trying to remember when I got them. There's been so much going on that I held these off. There's this guy that goes in there and searches these at my local. But again, we'll see what we can pull. The O'Neill Cruz would be the one you'd want to get out of these, but I doubt if we're going to get O'Neill Cruz. But there's 23 of them, two per, 46 cards. Odds are what one in five that you would get it and then there's a nice one i like that one tyler o'neill these look pretty decent too i like this one toronto talent i'm gonna sleeve that one probably paid for the pack with that one in like series one lots of times these purples can pay for the pack shaka's closet what's up Wins, Mitch Garver, Sandoval. But I'm really hoping we can pull a short print out of this pack. These are $4 a pack, by the way. $4 a pack, $3.99. Plus, I had a Myers reward, too, five bucks off, so I saved a few pennies. McCutcheon and Peralta. Again, if you're a team collector or... um. Player collector. These purples can be sought after because they don't make many of these purples. Yeah, these just showed up out of the out of nowhere. Got a white sock on the back. Come on, if I can get it out. Vigio and Graveman. Tracker says, what's up, man? He's 
eating his dog food. Eddie stopped by to pick up his PSA reveal. What's up, Anthony? I've opened a bunch of these from 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, opened up a few from 2022. Alcantara, Corbin. Again, not a lot of big names in Series 2. Series 2... We're looking for that Julio short print as usual, Bobby Witt. We'll see what we can pull. Again, 23 of these packs. David Fletcher and Ober. So only one rookie so far. Yeah, I miss those yellows too. Um... Mr. Cola, Frank Schwindel, we had that pack. Cole Tucker, I don't know if Cole Tucker was in it, though. I just remember seeing Frank Schwindel. Was, no, I don't think Tucker was in that one. Two Frank Schwindels. That is not the cubby you want to get, I'll tell you that. He's not on the roster anymore. Series two, I tell you what, um, Anthony... If you can get a good deal on a, yep, we doubled down there. If you get a good deal on a case of Series 2, $80 to $90 a box, open up a case. I actually think that's a good value buy. Get some short prints, get some numbered cards. With the price of product these days, you get your, hopefully get a few autos. We got, there's a rookie, Ryan Fletcher. That looks nice in the, in the Rockies. Jordan Montgomery. So we got a rookie there. Montgomery. I'll sleeve up all these purples and put them in my, uh, in my cell bin. Oak Creek, Wisconsin card show Saturday. I think the, I think it's going to be well attended. Oh, there's a nice one. There's Rendon and Jose Siri, rookie. There we go. Now we're getting some rookies. This is the bad thing about it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Corners are a little white, so grading. Getting a 9 in one of these is like a 10 almost. Very few 10s out of purples. Just the way they're packed, guys. Girls. Trying to go as fast as I can. Like I said, these are a little tricky to open. Got to keep that knife handy. As you can see, I've done a few thousand of these over the years. Fenway Fireworks and Sensatella. Got these at um got these at Meyer, my local Meyer. Picked these up the other day. Can't remember. Uh, actually, I know when it was. It was last Thursday. Last Thursday. I've had them. I've been holding on. I was open up so many other products, I kind of put this on the back burner. Here's a rookie. Gonzalez, and there's Sean Murphy. Like I said, I'll put these in the, uh, I'll put them in a top loader. And I'll put them in a rookie box to be saved for a later date. And then who knows who's going to blow up. You just never know. Sorry, my sleeves were getting all... Messed up over there. There was a sleeve that was all bent. Um, Mr. Gentry, yeah, the Myers are Midwest. Illinois, Indiana, Michigan. I'm not sure about Ohio. There's not many of them. That's why these Meyer purples can be really good. Brett Phillips and the Fenway Fireworks. Again, I'm going to keep... Keep that one. I'm sure Kentucky might have some. It's it's uh, Minnesota has them. But yeah, it's a nice store. I like them. Uh, the cards have gone up in price a lot over the last year at Meyer, though. They've got lots of cards sitting on their shelf because it's got so expensive. 
Shaka says he goes every Friday morning. Here's another Naughton rookie, and there's a McCutcheon. So these are coming out kind of uh, as a pair in a lot of these packs, which is kind of a bummer. I wish we'd doubled down on the O'Neill Cruz. The O'Neill Cruz, I wonder what that's going for. I've never had luck with Series 1 blisters, maybe Series 2. Yeah, I hear you there. I did not pull a Wander out of there. Out of a Series 1. Jeff McNeil and Ahmed. But I'm really interested in these packs. 16 cards per pack. Joseph Dill says he lives in the middle of Ohio. Hasn't seen him in Central. That's a bummer. Kikuchi and Daza. Again, that looks nice in the Rockies. Two more packs go. I knew we wouldn't get an O'Neill Cruz. I just have a feeling that they're able to search them. There's a dude locally who searches all of them. If you don't get there when the lady's putting them out, which I don't get there anymore. I used to see her, but she changed her times, and there's more collectors. And here's a Pirates. Contreras, isn't he pretty good? And Lorenzo Cain. Isn't this dude pretty good? Oh, we got some spam. Yeah, baby. We got some spam. Let me... I need trading cards and more. Here we go. Mingo. What's up, Dylan? Tigers fan in the house. All right, we got one more, and then we're going to get to the uh, pack openings. We're 12 minutes in. Nico Horner from my Cubbies. And there's Seth Beer. We finish it with a rookie and a PC. Nico Horner. Dan says, dang, took that spam off fast. I'm going to put that. Best purple pull, man, my best purple pull out of these. I don't know. Seth Beer, Contreras. Here's some of the better ones. There's just not much in this. You're looking for the O'Neill Cruz, but we picked up a couple cool ones. There you have it. Let's get to the packs. The pack attack. I had at one point, what's up, ERB Sports? At one point, I had five of the Tatis Purples from 2019. I was grinding. Um, Let's see what kind of hits we have here. Come on, let's see some love tonight from the single packs. Here we go, Rainbow Foil. Let's see what these are coming out of. Ooh, we got something backwards. Already, first pack love. Not bad, Paul Goldschmidt, gold. There's a gold out of the first one. Numbered card. I'm not going to complain about a Goldschmidt. And then, of course, we're back to the Stars the MLB. Those are, I'm as sick of those. So we got a numbered card in the first one. Dan said he had an O'Neill Cruz negative. Those negatives are sick. Heck yeah, Dylan. NL MVP. I think it's a no-brainer that Judge should be. Here's a cool Juan Soto. Oh, Tani. There's no way that uh, Otani can win that, can they? No way. Michael says he's got that Goldie. A gold Goldie. Pretty nice one. Are we going to get a short print in 24 packs? That's the question. Trace Thompson, don't think that's anything. That pack was lame, I'll tell you that. That one was brutal. 47, man, that one's rough. Nothing like a Stars, there's a Boz. Nothing like a Stars of the MLB and that's your only insert. This one's kind of fat. Anthony says his chrome light box are being uh. Delivered, not really, John. A Seth Beer. 
Nothing good. No O'Neill Cruz. That's about the only one, huh? Oh, Tani Base, I believe. There's Polanco. 47. It's a Goldschmidt kind of thing, man. Ooh, we got another. The gold card. Wow. David Bodie for my Cubs PC. I'm going to leave that right now. Bodie. Hey, what's up, Peter? Thanks for stepping in the box. So two gold cards already. Do update. Uh, so Matt, they have never put out update blister packs. One year, they put them in like this repack pro repack product. That was when um, I believe it was the rookie year 2019 update of Vladdy. And his card was in these like repack product, the purple. And unfortunately, this is the bad thing about open up afterwards. You get these home run challenge cards. Shane Boz. You get these home run challenge cards that are now completely worthless. I really wish you could use those the following year. Um, although I might be able to, I guess I could get that in right now. I've, You plan on ripping much update, Eric? I'm going to rip 128 hanger boxes. That's my goal. Cubbies, Phillies. My goal is to rip 128 hangers of update. O'Neal Cruz. That'd be nice if that was an advanced stat parallel. I believe that's just the base. Yep, base. Sweet Shades. Yelich. Thought maybe we had a good good one there. I was hoping. It's not a vintage stock. It's just a base. When you see it towards the center, I think he's sitting on a ball bucket for one of them. Um, Eric, yeah, BJ's. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Got my sights set on that. Looks like we got one of these chromes. It's been a minute since we opened Series 2. Rivas, there's a Jose Abreu, Syndergaard, Matt Olson. So we've had a couple golds. I like these. Like I said I'm been starting to get ready for a uh, for a uh, card show Saturday. Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Steel City, 780. Yeah, I've been trying to hold out. But you never know if they're going to raise prices or not. Rainbow foil. So we're getting rainbow foils. And what do we got behind it? Stars of the MLB. Yep. DJ LeMayu. Stars of the MLB. Looking for number cards. I totally forgot. I probably could redeem that. I should get that in tonight. I was thinking it was worthless, but I still got a couple games left you can get it in on. End of the season's coming. Playoffs. Brian Miller. It's 47. Another one of these. There's Garcia. Joey Votto. Miggy. Is Miggy done after this year? Is Cabrera retiring? Yeah, the Meyer Packs are, are in Series 1, Series 2, and an update. They have not had uh, Purple's last couple years that I remember. And then, man, I miss the Walgreens Hanger Packs, the yellows from Walgreens Hanger Packs. What is this one? Trey Turner, it's numbered. That's cool. So there you go. Dylan says Miggy's going to be back. That's crazy. Um, this is out of $299. So there's a numbered card. Trey Turner. Cool card. 
Still looking for a short print. Looking for a short print. Have you ever started twitching while watching someone rinse packs? I'm about to run to Meyer. <laughs> only, these are only Myers. Yeah, I got these last Thursday. John said he his Myers didn't have them or they got sold out. John's in Indianapolis area. We're getting some uh some lows and some bars. Rainbow foil. Again, checking these. Pittsburgh. That one's trash bags. Sponsored by Hefty. Good old series two. This is where you go. Do you buy a hobby box for 80, 90 bucks, 80 or 90 bucks? Or do you open these blister packs? Coming up, rookie card, Rivas again. And there is the star. This is the problem. The stars, the MLB brutality. Hate those cards. I've gotten sick of them. Boz, Tommy John. They're exclusive to Meyer. My Meyer is a honey hole. Hobby is very overpriced. I agree, hobby's overpriced, but series two has come down to like 85, 90 bucks. That's not a bad price for a hobby box, guys. I mean, they used to be 75, 80 in this day and age. Trey Turner. Tatis, I used to say any Tatis is a good Tatis. I'll leave that out. Tatis, we're about, we're getting about two thirds done. There's a hanger case series one. Dude, you can get, you can get hangers from series one really cheap guys, but I would stay away from them. They're such long odds. Here we go. Another stars. Uh, Toro's a base. That almost looked like a short print. A thousand. Wow. Yeah, they just add up so fast, man. Series one is trash, Shaka says. No Myers in Florida. Stay safe in Florida, man. Any hurricane action? Otani base. Here's a rookie rainbow foil. How's this dude doing? Man, speaking of the Rockies, my gosh. What happened to my golden boy, Chris Bryant? What happened to KB? Done. No home runs at Coors Field. That's like, I looked at his stats today, and man, he was so good those first three years. Rookie of the year, MVP. War was over six. It looked like he was going to be the next just monster, and he just started complaining. What do we got here? Oh, Tani, that one's cool. And then Lindor. Starting to put all Otanis to the side. KB is a bust, can't stay healthy, I agree. Not only can he not stay healthy, I think he, uh, I don't think he enjoys playing baseball anymore. Every time I listen to him, he uh, seems unhappy. Talks about pressure. Rookie there. We got a Brayu. I like these again. There's Syndergaard. Stars of the MLB. But again, those uh, these inserts all add up, guys. You might not win them all, but you just got to piece these out. Yeah, Eric, I thought he was a Hall of Famer too, man. I mean, the way he got off to the start, and then he just... It's been terrible. Terrible. But for the value, this is fun. 
There's a Yepes card. People collecting Yepes yet? I really have. Oh, I had an avalanche over here. Oh, got a base avalanche. Should probably move some of this stuff. Um, Akiyama. That's a base. There's Ozzy Smith and Ozzy. A couple Ozzies. The Wizard. I have not looked at any Yepes prices. Anybody buying Yepes? Let's see. Your Eddie says to me, you're enjoying playing ball when you win. Or play for something. Yeah, I know. I hear you there. Rizzo being better. Yeah, Rizzo's had a pretty good year. I understand why the Cubs would want to move away from an older player, but man, the Cubs dodged a bullet to Javi Baez and Chris Bryant. I mean, a bullet. Cal Contrell. I'm just checking these to make sure these aren't short prints. Max Muncie. So far, nothing really of note, guys, at least short term. But... You never know. We got a few more packs. Was really hoping to pull a short print. And 24 packs. Just never know. Here is that uh rookie right there. That felt a little weird, but it's a 47. Charlie Blackman, Rocky, Rainbow Foil. So we came out of the gate and had a few numbered cards and haven't had any since. We had a couple golds, and we had that Trey Turner. Matty Ice. Three packs to go here. Stay safe down there in Florida, man. Alejandro Kirk. Again, lots of these packs just have the one... Two packs to go. If you suck on, they could hit that like button. Probably going to open up something every night this week leading into the Friday um, card show or Saturday card show, I mean. Got some select football I think I'm going to open. Looks like an insert here. Jacob deGrom, Trey Turner. And here, guys, last pack mojo. We came looking for that uh, Julio short print, Bobby Witt short print, Torkelson short print, or any short print. We've been shut out. This opening, I don't think it's been sponsored by Hefty, but it has not been that good. Maybe we can get some last pack mojo. And here it comes, Stanton. And at least we got a rookie rainbow foil. And it was not a short print kind of night. But we got a rookie. Here we go. Picked up some bases here. Um, let's go through. Here was some notable purples. Again, here's the purples. This is why you really opened this product. We were hoping to get an O'Neill Cruz in this. Seth Beer, not too bad. This guy's decent. Sleeved a couple of the... I sleeved all the rookies and a couple of the other bigger ones. There's Siri. A couple of these. Those are probably three or four bucks a piece. My Nico Horner collection. And then... Uh, a little stack. I, always, I like these chromes. I always sleeve the chrome. Got a love tops chrome. Put the Vladdy with that. Bodie for the PC. Picked up a few cards for the PC. Um, I kind of like these rainbow foils just to throw them in a box and then see what happens. You never know. O'Neill Cruz. There might have been some other no O'Neill Cruz in there. I didn't really wasn't paying attention that much for O'Neill Cruz. And then uh had a gold schmidt gold out of 2022. And Trey Turner, that's a cool card. Out of $2.99. And then I was putting the Otanis to the side that I saw. So there you have it, guys. Again, nothing major. Appreciate you guys tuning in. It was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Stay tuned. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We'll be back with more openings leading into the weekend. Until next time, peace.